Hey, good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. How was your weekend? Hopefully it was a good weekend. Um, I, I, uh, it was kind of busy for me, but okay. Not too bad. I can't complain. Um, you know, we started it out Friday, crypto on the rocks. Always good. We had crypto beta in the, in the house, uh, joining for that. Uh, he and I actually had a great conversation after the live stream was over. Um, we're gonna, hopefully we're gonna do more with that kind of thing, uh, coming, uh, coming forward. Good morning, automatic beats. Welcome, Chris. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Appreciate you guys jumping on in here. So, uh, yeah, if you're new, like subscribe, smash that like button. Um, yeah, uh, that way you get notified every time I go live. Uh, I'm doing a lot of live. I'm I'm actually thinking about changing things up a little bit, kind of work working through all of that. So um, I don't know. TBD to be determined. Hey, Mike is in the house. Mike, welcome. Good afternoon to you, sir. Good afternoon to you. Appreciate you being here as always. So today, you know what? I mean. I, Hopefully you don't watch a lot of the mainstream media. And even if you did, it's probably not uh, touted very much on the mainstream media as a, as a negative thing. Uh, but uh, over the uh, course of uh, the weekend, uh, you know, they slowly slipping out that, uh, you know, we're going to spend more money here in the United States. We're going to, you know, go further in debt because, hey, what the hell? Why not? Right. And. Uh, you know, the president just signed that new spending $1.2 trillion spending bill to keep the government running. Screw the government at this point. Uh, you know, uh, anyway, uh, it could be most of what's in there has nothing to do with the damn government, but again, I'm, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Uh, the, 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 the point is, uh, is, uh, you know, our government is, spending money like they're drunken sailors and they ain't stopping any time soon, anytime soon. So I would, uh, yeah, I would encourage you to consider how you are going to react because here's the thing. I mean, don't misunderstand me. Uh, I'm not saying don't hold your uh, congressmen and senators accountable for what it is that they're doing in Washington, D.C., by all means, feet to the fire, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, but, you know, you, you, sometimes we can only affect what is close to us. And uh, so we're going to go through this. And, and that's my thought process here at this point. You know, what am I going to do? How am I going to prep? How am I going to get ready? Um, and I, you know, I'll toss a bunch of that out there and feel free guys, uh, jump into the chat and, and tell me what you're thinking as well. Uh, but as we start, let's go take a look at the markets as always and see what is going on right now. Uh, Bitcoin is kind of, uh, making a bit of a, uh, bit of an uptick right now at 68 225. Uh, when I started out the morning here this morning, it was at 66 and change. So uh, moving on up here for BTC, as we see. Yes, Mike, uh, that's on my agenda to try and, and talk about uh, later in this uh, live stream, the EU tightening the laws for privacy coins and and self-hosted wallets and everything else. Uh, to me, you know, privacy coins, it's whatever, you know, and, and okay, I say that and I'm not. Uh, it's about privacy in general. That's what they're trying to take away from you. Uh, because you know what? You can't host your own wallet and interact with a centralized exchange now because of this. I mean, yeah, you can have your own wallet and go between private wallets and how the frick are they going to know? But that's beside the point. You know, if you're trying to interact with a centralized exchange, uh, phew, Forget about it. Now you got to KYC your wallet, basically. Yeah, you can kiss my ass. Um, that's my thought process. But yes, it does affect other things. And and yeah, uh, I, I agree, Mike. It's not a good direction. And like I said, something that we're going to, uh, or I'm going to try and touch base on a little bit later. Uh, let's zip through real quick. Ethereum at 35, uh, 35K, not bad. BNB, 586. 
uh, up a little bit, almost 5% in the last 24 hours, 3% over the last seven. I mean, that's not bad. Uh, good for BNB. Solana. All right. Jar is going to be happy. Uh, Solana is back up over <laughs> uh, 180. It's at $190, up eight and a half, uh, almost 9% actually uh, in the last 24 hours. Uh, and yes, automatic beats. I was waiting for you to chime in there. Yes, yes, exactly. Um, and I, and, and I do again, always, again, I'm no fan of Solana. Don't hold any Solana. I got no shame in saying I don't hold any damn Solana. Uh, but I, they're going to do well in this bull cycle. It's that simple. XRP up about four and a half percent in the last seven days, 63 cents. Not bad for the XRP fans out there. Uh, let's stop at Doge. I mean, Doge up. And I think this is indicative of like market in general with regard to meme coins. Uh, meme coins are just like on fire right now. Uh, and you can see Doge in and of itself up almost 18% in the last seven days at 17 and a half cents. As a matter of fact, for those um, who are here and watching, I think tomorrow we're going to be talking meme coins on the Matrix Money podcast. So uh, make sure you head over there and um, uh, subscribe the link to do that in the description of this live stream. Uh, because uh, remember now with the Matrix Money Podcast, we are going live on just the Matrix Money Podcast channel. And then we do a rebroadcast on our separate channels afterward. But tomorrow we're also doing a wallet giveaway. As far as I'm aware, I haven't heard otherwise. Although I also haven't seen Joss. Uh, overview video come out yet. So I don't know. We'll 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 see how that goes. Uh, but in order to win that, you have to like, uh, you have to subscribe to the channel and be watching that particular live stream uh, live on the Matrix Money Podcast channel in order to be eligible to win. Uh, so, and again, like I said, uh, right now, I think we're talking meme coins tomorrow. So head on over there and we can talk more about that. Uh, you think so? Automatic beats. He's saying Solana is going to get to one K. Eh, could be, could be. Uh, we're going to find out in this uh, coming bull cycle. That's for sure. All right, let's keep going. Uh, Cardano down about four and a half percent over the last seven days at sixty-five cents. Uh, still, I mean, I think good buying opportunities for Cardano as always, not financial advice, not a financial advisor, old guy interwebs. Uh, AVAX uh, down about five and a half percent, 58.51. I like Avalanche. I think it's uh, going to have huge, huge uh, uptick in this cycle. Sheeb is what it is. Uh, <laughs> I mean, if you like Sheeb. Uh, let's see, Link, love Link, uh, still a good price under $20, 1924, uh, and that's being up 5% in the last 24 hours. Uh, I think Link, huge, huge, uh, gonna be a huge player in this bull cycle. And, uh, my crystal ball says so. <laughs> well, Automatic Beats, we're gonna hope that your crystal ball is right, and I'm sure. Jar is hoping your crystal ball is right uh, about Solana hitting a thousand dollars. That's uh, that's awesome. Uh, let's see, Tron. It is what it is. I mean, again, Tron is uh, the layer being used around the world to uh, for for these impoverished countries to use USDT. Uh, Bitcoin Cash up twenty two percent, four hundred ninety four ten. And the irony of that is, it's kind of I think it's down overall. I thought it was over 500 bucks there at one point. Uh, Matic back over a dollar. Uh, and, and that's over this last 24 hours, uh, up 3%. ICP 1733. Look at this up almost 39% at 1733 US. Um, I don't know. I think ICP is going to have a, a, another is going to be another huge player in this cycle. Uh, you know, I like Litecoin for what it is up almost 10%. Uh, you use it to, to buy shit uh, and save your Bitcoin. Um, $90.68 for Litecoin. Uh, Filecoin, great uh, D-pin option for those who are into D-pins. Uh, up almost 5% in the last 24 hours, 
still under $10, uh, $9.14. Um, like I said, I wish I'd bought some when it was $5. Uh, let's see, Immutable X up almost 7%, $3, one penny US. Render down 10.7% in the last seven days, uh, $11.05 on Render. XLM up about 4.5% at 13.6 cents. I'll take that. Uh, HBAR, 11 cents, up almost 5% in the last 24 hours. Again, HBAR. I think it's, uh, it, it's got some room to move, as it were, with regard to HBAR. Uh, let's see. Uh, Caspa. We cannot stop at Caspa. Up 11% in the last seven days. 14, almost 15 cents. Say cheers. You know what? Cheers. It's coffee, unfortunately, but it is what it is. All right. Everybody needs some coffee. Injective. Uh, I mean, down almost 10%. 3748. Uh, I'm surprised at that with Injective. Uh, Pepe. For those who like Pepe, another meme coin up over 7%. V chain, I like V chain. I think they're going to be uh, doing pretty well in this bull cycle, up five and a half percent in the last seven days. Uh, Thor chain, Rune. I got to stop here. I, I am a fan of Thor chain and uh, and Rune. Uh, Eight dollars seventy four cents, up about three and a half percent in the last week. And uh, <laughs> it's a is another meme for you, dog with hat, with uh, down fourteen and a half percent with being up almost 17 and a half in the last 24 hours. So big hit there on, uh, on whiff at $2 and 71 cents. Uh, I'm going to pop in on Monero. I think Monero, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to see the price action with Monero back up in that normal range for them. I'm using my air quotes. Uh, so that is great. Uh, let's check out some of these gala. One of the options you get to vote for every Friday night, 7 p.m. Crypto on the rocks for this first half of 2024, uh, up 11% basically in the last week, most of that in the last 24 hours and, uh, at just under seven cents. So a little pump going on right there with some gala, uh, quant like quant. That's got a big pump going on right now. Uh, at uh, 148.76, Algo. I like Algo. Uh, up about two percent over the last week at 26 cents. Uh, let's catch a couple more of these, and we'll get into what we've got going for today. Beam, another one on a pump here. You can vote for it every Friday. Crypto on the rocks at three and a half cents, and that's up six percent over the last week. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, Axie, another one you can vote for. Not no one has voted for Axie Infinity as part of the uh, crypto portfolio. Ten dollars and sixty-seven cents. Uh, the Sandbox was a winner. I think only one week uh, worth of voting uh, at sixty-seven point nine. So say sixty-eight cents, up about seven percent over the last week. And uh, you know what? I think I think that's gonna do it. We'll we'll uh, we'll call it there. We'll call, oh, wait, Decentraland, man, let's not forget that. Um, that's one of the other options you can vote for in this crypto portfolio, up 3.8, almost 4% at 65 and a half cents. All right, let's get that out of here and let's get into the bullshit of the day, uh, basically. Ah, uh, I love it, automatic beats. Uh, Whiff is going to melt some faces and it, and it, and it might. I mean, this has so far been the season of the meme coin, right? Uh, so uh, <laughs> that may be one of the ones that does very well. Um, yeah. I, I, like I said, tomorrow, if all goes well, we will be uh, talking about that on, um, yeah, help me, Matrix Money Podcast, 10 a.m. tomorrow, uh, Eastern Time on the Matrix Money Podcast channel. And like I said, don't forget, as far as I know, as far as I know, uh, we're doing a giveaway tomorrow of a wallet. So 
Uh, make sure a hardware wallet. Make sure you're there for that. All right, let's bring up the next screen. And uh, yeah, boom. Here we go. Senate passes $1.2 trillion funding package in an early morning vote. And I like the end here, ending the threat of a partial shutdown. Screw that. Ugh. Government's too freaking big as it is. And I love the fact they got this clown here as the, as the picture on the screen because he is a clown. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, yeah, so again, that this vote happened about uh, this bill at around 3.30 in the morning. Why are they doing it so surreptitiously? Why? Because they know there's nothing but a bunch of bullshit in this bill. And to boot, the entire bill is over a thousand pages long. A thousand pages. And it was given to the senators 10 hours before the vote. So you tell me, what's the chances anyone even read this freaking thing? I'll wait. Obviously, no one read this. Even if they had their, their, you know, whatever you call them, underlings go through the bill, you know it was skimming it at best. And I'm sure that the votes, for the most part, were bought and paid for. Sorry. Just the way I feel. It's a fact of the matter. Our our government is as gotten as corrupt as I, I don't. I don't even have a comparison right now. But here's the thing. Overall, the U.S. is accumulating approximately a trillion dollars in debt every six months because of the interest on the debt we already owe. And then you got these clowns in Washington, D.C. passing a $1.2 trillion spending bill. So it's like, hey, why the hell not add more money on top of money? Oh, wait, let's let's clarify that because it's actually not money. Why not add more debt on top of our debt? Because at the end of the day, we ain't going to be paying it off anyway. And they know it. They know it. And as I mentioned, matter of fact, the link to the video I dropped yesterday where I was kind of ranting about this whole situation is in the description of this live stream. So if you haven't checked it out, please go ahead and check it out. It's about, I don't know, seven, eight minutes long um, where I kind of go through this. I, I rant about it, uh, punch out a couple of points about it, and then kind of give you what my game plan is uh, going forward to try and just, I don't know, insulate uh, myself and my household from what is inevitably coming. Uh, it is just coming. It's a matter of when it gets here. It's a matter of when it gets here. Because at this point, you know, we're not just borrowing today to pay it tomorrow. The idea is that they're never planning to pay any of this back. You know, if you break it down, the amount of debt that is owed by every citizen of this country is just insane. Matter of fact, if you watch yesterday's video, uh, you can see that particular uh, debt number uh, right behind me as I'm talking because I brought up the debt clock and, it, and it's just ticking away, ticking away, ticking away. And the the sad part, as we're looking at this uh, $1.2 trillion funding bill, which, by the way, uh, was signed by the, I don't know, the person that's supposedly running this country, who honestly can't remember his name or how to change his diaper, um, and now is... Boom. And we're going to look into a couple of things. I, I, mm, mm, mm. This is probably one of those uh, after hour crypto on the rocks uh, uh, kind of topics here because I'm, I'm trying to restrain uh, how much I want to like just start swearing at these people right now. Uh, but anyway, 
let's uh, just to put it into perspective, I, I saw this on Twitter and I wanted to share it again, links to all of this, um, except the last thing I'm going to show you are in the description of this live stream. And I just thought it would be worth watching this uh, to give everyone the perspective of exactly what $1.2 trillion actually looks like in, in, in a kind of visual re representation, okay? So uh, I'm going to play this real quick. Uh, it's about uh, 50 seconds long. Uh, so bear with it, but uh, I, I, I think you'll appreciate it uh, having a visual perspective if you have not already seen this. Uh, so uh, let's uh, let's kick that off. All right. Is that not insane? Is that not insane? It's it, it sometimes people are visual learners and and uh, hey, uh me as well. But when you actually look at that, it's insane how much money. I mean, can you actually sit there and fathom a trillion dollars? I don't know. I can't say I could even imagine what a trillion dollars looks like, but they, they, our government sits here spending trillions of dollars like it's their day job. Oh, wait a minute. It is their day job. And without a care for how we're going to pay for it, because again, there is no way we're going to pay for it. They're intentionally doing this to collapse our economy. I'm sorry. It just, there is no other way to put that out there. And here's the thing. It doesn't end up being just the U.S. economy because the inflation that's coming from this, because basically all they're doing is running our government on inflation at this point and, and using inflation to steal our money and time and life, to be completely honest. Let's break that down. I did an entire live stream about that. Um, I didn't even think about it to write this second. Um, so go ahead into one of my lives and you'll see it. You, I, I talk about using Bitcoin to like uh, be the best uh, preserver of your time and energy. And uh, because right now in the fiat world, uh, they're using inflation to just make us slaves. That's literally what they're doing. And, and collapsing that system means then they got to bring in a new system. Well, uh, CBDC or whatever it is going to be, regardless, it doesn't matter. The fact is that whatever's coming in is not going to be any better than what's here. It's probably going to be worse. It's probably going to eat away more privacy that they're already trying to take away. As Mike pointed out in the comments below, uh, that's going on in the EU right now. And again, we're going to try and take a look at that, but it's not just there. It's everywhere, everywhere. So I don't know. I, I encourage you to help spread the word. And, and I guess that's the point, you know? Um, and, and as always, I, I, I appreciate everybody being here. Make sure if you're new, you're subscribed, tick the bell icon, click the all that way you get notified every time I put out a video or go live on a live stream and, um, you know, share it, share this information. And, and it doesn't have to be me. There's plenty of good people who explain all this 
honestly, much more eloquently than I do, uh, link to Mark Moss's channel in the description of this live stream. Uh, he's about uh, probably the most eloquent person who breaks it down, <clears throat> excuse me, uses historical references uh, to bring it all together. Uh, just does a, a phenomenal job. Makes me look like a rank amateur, which, uh, you know, I'm a professional here, obviously. Uh, but anyway, uh, and to the point of people being much more eloquent about it than I am, here's a tweet uh, from Lynn Alden. And anybody inside the cryptocurrency space knows who Lynn Alden is. And if you have not already uh, read her book, Broken Money, I'll tell you what great information. I actually got the audio book. I think I, I tweeted out a picture of me listening to it while I was, uh, I was traveling a few weeks ago. And, uh, you know what, I've, I've got to listen to it again because as much information as I took in on her book, broken money, uh, I, I know I missed a ton. So there's, there's definitely more to learn. So if you haven't already got that book, I mean, I, I suggest very highly that you do, or even the audio book. But basically here, it's like the U.S. government debt, wait, let's try that again. If the U.S. government debt averages 4% across the weighted duration spectrum, that would be about $1.4 trillion in annual interest expenses. So basically saying that, you know, we would be spending $1.4 trillion just on the interest alone. So at $50 trillion, let me highlight that a little bit so you can see it. At $50 trillion in debt, which this will get us there quickly and, and truth right there, because I mean, we're already over $34 trillion. So, uh, and, and we're accumulating a new trillion approximately every six months. And we just added another trillion to it. And you know, there are more bills coming. So let's, you know, let's not be naive about this. Um, so getting there quickly is just, yeah. Uh, so she goes on to say it would be $2 trillion in annual interest expenses. $2 trillion annually just for the interest. And you think for one minute our government wants to balance a budget? You think for one minute our government wants to pay this back? You think for one minute our government isn't going to push that inflation outside the country? Come on. Let's 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 be real about it. And uh that's as she's basing that off of this tweet from Bob Elliott. And uh, it, it, I know it says show more, but honestly, you can pretty much get the gist right here. One of the most consequential shifts in global markets over the next decade would be the repricing of neutral rate expectations. For nearly 15 years, most investors and central banks have held that neutral is around two to two and a half percent. But increasing evidence is it may be higher. Like, it, 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 you know, they're using the CPI metric, which they change to fit the bill. And their, their argument is, well, be what people buy over time changes, da, da, da. But, but here's, here's the reality of the situation. They don't even use in the CPI metric the things that people use the most. Like, oh, I don't know, food, energy. I, I'm, I'm sorry. It just baffles me. It just baffles me. Hey, 100 Air, welcome. Glad you're here. Appreciate you being here. Uh, so I, I, I thought for those who are like, you know, okay, well, let's crypto relate this thing a little bit more. Here you go. You've got. You know, Lynn Alden basically spelling it out for you. And again, if you have not read her book, if you have not uh, or listened to the audio book, whatever, I'm going to suggest very highly that you do that. I, uh, I I think it would be 
it's a it's a more than one time read. It's a big book, just jammed with uh, great history and uh, financial information that um, you you really need to understand to see where we are headed um, and the cliff we are are slowly heading toward. And and again, um, it. it even if it was just about the money, like, okay, let's spend another 1.2 trillion. Cause you know, we can, because again, as I pointed out in my rant video yesterday, the government, our elected officials have forgotten that they work for us. It is now we work for them because they need wage slaves, tax slaves. Uh, that is the nature of what they've got going on. Uh, it just is. Uh, oh wait, wrong, wrong one. Hold on. I, I don't know what just happened right there. Uh, hundred air is her book on audible because I'm lazy. <laughs> yes. Uh, she does have an audio book and yeah, I'm pretty sure it's on audible. I did not get it off of audible. I got it off of uh, the safe house, which is uh safe Bedeen Amos's online bookstore for um, all his books. He also has a couple of other people's books, including Lynn Alden's. Uh, so I got the audio book from there, but I am pretty positive. It's also on Audible if you have Audible. So yes, and I understand I got the audio book because I knew uh, trying to get through that and get through it in more than like multiple times to like try and absorb more and more. It had to be an audiobook, just had to be. <laughs> so, uh, yes, um, either way, if you can't, if it's not on Audible, which I'm pretty sure it is, um, Safe House, S A I F H O U S E, I think it's safehouse.com. It definitely is there. Uh, okay, I don't know if you guys follow the Hodge twins and, uh, you know, whether you do or don't, the link to, this particular tweet is in the description um, of this live stream. And they just kind of, again, to follow through what I was just saying, it's not even just about the spending of the money anymore. It's it's about what they're spending the money on. Although I guess to some degree, it's always been about what they're spending the money on. But a couple of points as to what is in here that are just downright disturbing and as illegal as shit and should worry every person watching this live stream, whether you're in the U.S. or not, because I'm sure coming to a country near you is in the cards. Uh, so they, they talk about right here. We'll break it down paragraph by paragraph. This new one, $1.2 trillion bill just passed by Congress gives the feds, a new red flag gun control center to slowly disarm us. And then why else would they have a red flag gun control situation? They've been pushing these red flag laws or uh, enforcement actions is more accurate because there are no laws that is directed at trying to disarm the public. There's a reason the Second Amendment is in our Constitution. And all you need to do is go through history to see why you need to be able to have a gun. And I'm going to leave it at that because this isn't about uh, the Second Amendment here isn't in, in general about gun laws, this is crypto finance at this point, <clears throat> but this is an important point. This is an important point. If they can disarm you, and, and again, red flag laws. So somebody like me, they see this kind of live stream, guess what? Oh, you're anti-government, you're, you're uh, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Even though I took my oath, to, to protect and defend this country. But these, again, I'm trying to control my language right now. We'll go with assholes 
because that's not really the word I want, but I don't, anyway, who have no idea about honor, dedication, perseverance, uh, you know, service, actual service, are sitting here trying to say that if you do have an opinion that deviates from ours, guess what? You are a threat. Let's get you the hell out of here. Give me your guns. All right, next one. It gives millions to groups for mandatory tagging and tracking of cows to slowly force out small farmers, ban cattle, and starve us. Now, this has been going on for a long time, let's be honest. I mean, the the, the entire um, industry for, for producing meat and, and uh, that kind of thing has been slowly shrinking down, and, and the government has been really, really hard on this. And, and you know, recently, as this was kind of coming uh, to a head here for a vote in uh, D.C., you, you saw a lot of ranchers speaking out against this because they're trying to show you, like, guess what? They're trying to force us out because then they control everything. They control everything. Uh, yes, I, I, 100 AR, yes, I, I've done my time uh, for the country. Proud to have done it. Um, still proud of the country. Can't stand my government. Uh, in a nutshell, is the answer to that. Um, anyway, uh, and, and, and again, they're trying to control your guns. They're trying to control your food. And then, here we go. And it gives $200 million to the FBI to build a new HQ so they can monitor and terrorize us. I mean, let's be honest. Uh, this administration, probably more than any other administration, has used the um, agencies at its disposal to be to terrorize anyone who opposes their opinions, uh, political candidates who oppose them, etc. It is we looking at it just from that perspective makes the U.S. look like a banana republic. Let's just call it what it is. Um, <clears throat> and again, money in here for, uh, let's, let's fund that. Uh, 100 Day of saying 29 years, U.S. Air Force Reserve retiree here. Awesome. And thank you. Thank you. Um, in the same boat, can't tolerate this insane spending. Yeah, exactly. Who can tolerate this insane spending? Who? I mean, it's it's just, again, the, the sad part is the people who are doing the spending are, if they had any sense of honor, it's gone uh, because they've been co-opted by the money that's being pumped into their pockets. And um Again, to the point where they believe we work for them uh, because guess what? We need taxes. We need your wages. We need, we need. No, 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 no. We, the people, need to redirect the government, the people we elect to government offices to realize, no, you work for us. <sighs> anyway, and... And, and they ended off with, and <laughs> all thanks to our corrupt politicians on both sides. And, and I'm glad that they actually put that in here. Uh, these guys are more conservative minded. So you'd think they, they'd be more, you know, I guess, Republican minded, whatever. Uh, but it, they're right. It, 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 again, I, I'm, I've done another live stream with regard to that, that, the you know, this, this uh, two party system we have are just literally two wings of the same bird, uh, the entirety of the government has been corrupted at this point, which is why you've got uh, Republican members of the House just like leaving before their term is even over because they probably, um, you know, sought election for the right reasons 
and got down there and realized that they can make next to no difference uh, because both parties and the senior leaders of these parties are just in bed with whatever pack or or association uh, they need to be with in order to get, you know, get their money funded. And not to mention, <laughs> you know, let's insider trade because we can. We're Congress, right? Yeah, that's allowed. But you and I do it. We go to jail. <clears throat> Almost needs to be something stronger than coffee at this point. All right. <clears throat> so let's touch base really quick on what Mike mentioned earlier about the EU's crackdown. Sorry, I hit the wrong button there. Uh, so let me bring that up. And I and I touched base on it yesterday uh, in that rant video as well. Um, the EU clamps down on crypto anonymity to fight money laundering. That's such bullshit. That's their... That's the catch-all. It's it's national security. It's uh, terrorism. It's money laundering. It's all of these things. Why we have to take away your rights and your privacy? And uh, oh, it's a, I don't know. I just it drives me crazy. It drives me absolutely crazy. <clears throat> I, I, I wanted to make sure that I included this to point out the fact that it is not just the U.S. And I, and I know I have some people here from the EU and, and so on uh, and, that, and that follow uh, me and probably watch this after the fact. So I wanted to make sure that I, I realize that it's not just here in the United States. I know I, I talk often on a U.S.-centric uh, basis because it's uh, where I'm at and, um, you know, uh, where I... I'm hoping I can do the most good to uh, wake people up to what the hell's going on. And with your help, I can, uh, and and so can you, for that matter, sharing this information, trying to make sure that these people are, because, I mean, life is tough. We know, which we're all just trying to get by. And it's difficult to be completely on board with all this crap that's going on. And be aware of it all and the beyond what the mainstream media would like you to think and what the White House uh, puts out as a tweet or whatever the case may be. As you know, it ain't Biden putting those out, but beside the point. So, um, again, in the EU, here you go. Uh, you can't use self-hosted wallets and access a centralized, basically, uh, entity in exchange with out KYC at this point now is what it is. This is again just more bullshit, if you ask me. That's the majority of what I had for today. Uh, I did find one other thing that I I think I'm going to close with before I you know do the final wrap up and get uh, talk to you about what's going on for the week that kind of thing. Um, and and uh, I, I literally came across it this morning, um, right before I I went live. Um, but I I think it's <clears throat> I get it. You know, this guy is just trying to like reconcile the fact that how can you feel like things are going good here in the U.S. And again, it's it's U.S. centric here. I I understand, but uh, you know what? I'm going to let him speak for himself. I'm going to bring that up right now. We'll listen to this. It's about uh, two, three minutes long. And uh, then I'm going to wrap everything up here at this point. Um, so here we go. Let's, uh, let's bring him up. Oh, come on. <laughs> it doesn't want to start. Of course not. Why would it? That's funny. Oh, let me try and refresh the page and see if that helps here. Yeah, that did it. Hang up anymore. But I am just so genuinely curious that I have to ask the question. How are there still people out there that still genuinely believe that the person who is running this country is doing a great job and that they still want him to continue to run the country? And I'm not referring to the people who know that this person is corrupted, but they still want him in because they have underlining agendas. 
I'm talking about the people who still genuinely believe that this person is a good person to run this country. Like, are you tired of going to the grocery store and having to spend $160 just on eight items of food? Are you tired of going Some to the real gas truth there. and having to put $60 of gas just to fill up your car? Are you yeah. tired of seeing the chaos that is happening around the entire world because of the choices that have been made from this person in office? How can you continue to be so deceived despite living in your current reality? You have to do these things every day. We all have seen it, but you are still being deceived and I don't understand how that can happen. Some people ask me, how can I still wanna vote for the last person who was running this country? And I can just give you a simple answer. Using my simple observational skills and knowledge and awareness, I can see that when the last person was in, things wasn't as expensive. People could afford to drive places. People could afford to go to the grocery store. Crime wasn't as bad as it was. There was a lot more peace around the world. Now you have the old guy getting kicked out and you have a new person getting in. Things are not going right. There is a lot more chaos than there ever has been in the entire history. In the it's, entire it's world. It's simple and black and white. It's not that hard to understand. Now let's just go on ahead and believe that this guy was in fact a racist puff. Let's just go on ahead and believe that. You decide that you want to hire somebody to guard your house and your family, okay? You give them the paper and the conditions that you want done to the house. The first guy, you assume he's a Reese's Puff. He shouts bad words. He says bad things. Puts However, out a bad tweet. Your house mortgage is lower. Your electric bill is lower. Your gas bill and trash, everything is lower. There are no intruders that enter your home because this guy is protecting your house. However, you don't like him because you assume that he is a Reese's Puff. So you get rid of the other guy and you hire the new guy. He promises that he's going to do every single thing that's on those terms and conditions. Now you come home from work one day and this guy has multiple people in your household. You look at your yeah, water seven bill billion, is doubled million, than what it was me. before. You turn around and you go into your kid's room and you see that your kids are being taught things that have absolutely no business being taught to them. Yep. This is the kind of situation that you're seeing going before America right now. Would you rather have the person who you claim is a Reese's Puff, but all you have to do is endure him for four years and he makes your life easier? Or would you rather keep the guy in who makes empty promises and makes your life worse? I don't understand how people don't see that. Me either. <laughs> I don't understand. I just don't. I mean, unless they're benefiting from it somehow, and I, I, I just don't even see the how. Jar, welcome, my friend. Glad to have you here. Yes, this guy is speaking some facts. Amen to that. And for those, again, I, I didn't, I, I just came across that uh, right before I, I went live, but I thought it was a good way to kind of encapsulate and uh, bring everything I've put out there together. Uh, I put the link to that particular tweet in the uh, live chat. So if you want to go and check that out, it's in the live chat uh, where you can do that. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, but yes, as Jar points out here, this guy is is just spewing facts. So, I, I mean, I know I talked a lot about it in the um, rant video I did yesterday. Again, link to that is in the description of this live stream. Uh, but it just points out to me how important it is to be or to insulate yourself as much as possible from what's coming. Because even if we maintain our current level of interest on the debt and we're getting a new trillion dollars worth of debt every six months, that's two trillion a year at our current rate and a current amount of spending we just added another trillion on to that spending, mind you. <clears throat> it is going to be at the point, like in Lynn Alden's tweet that we talked about earlier, again, link to that in the description, where we're going to be at 50 million and it's going to be just like, forget it. Forget it. It's, it's just going to continue to bring us down from there. And again, 
I, I realize I'm talking U.S. centric, but it isn't just the United States. The United States exports its inflation. The United States will end up by doing what it's doing, basically crushing every country and every government in the world. Now, again, I, I'm not saying don't hold elected officials' feet to the fire. I'm not saying don't vote the way you feel is necessary to vote. I'm not saying any of that. I'm not saying don't be active in, uh, you know, uh, politics on whatever level works for you. I'm not saying any of that. But even with that, you can't always direct the ship to what is best for you. Yeah, see, as Jaw points out here, Canada is following suit. Yeah, you're right. They are. And uh, yeah, the economy is trash. And <clears throat> I mean, it just is what it is. It is what it is. And, and, and it isn't just Canada, unfortunately. You know, it, it's it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Um, so as much as, yes, do what you need to do that's best for you, your family, your government, your country, your town, your city, whatever. But you sometimes have to be able to do only what you can do. And that's the way I'm looking at this. I'm looking at this like, okay, what can I do to insulate? And I went through a bunch of things yesterday on that rant video. Um, but to highlight a couple of the things, yeah, I'm, I'm going to increase the way that I consider living on crypto and, and the amount and means by which I do that. because. I think that needs to be in place for when this collapses. Now, you know, again, I'm, I'm, is it going to collapse in six months or something? No, no, they're going to kick it down the road as far as they can. But uh, within the next decade, I say for sure. But again, what the hell do I know? Old guy, interwebs. You got to think about what's best for you and put your own perspective on that. Um, <clears throat> and then the other thing I'm doing is I'm going to try and purchase uh, set set up a savings, uh, a backup, a, a an emergency fund, if you would, uh, in the Dash wallet, utilizing the staking option, so I can get some staking rewards, uh, and just every week buying a new, uh, well at the current prices. We got to see what happens uh, when the bull cycle gets here. I mean, if it gets too expensive, obviously I'll have to rethink that option. Uh, but right now. It's uh, inexpensive enough where, uh, you know, one dash, boom, put it in the wallet and then just keep kind of going for, uh, in the uh, in the staking and just kind of go from there. Uh, again, I'm going to suggest to you that you consider doing something similar. It's, it, it's, you know, what? do your own research, figure it out for yourself. This isn't financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just some old guy who's sitting here watching what's going on, paying attention to what's going on, trying to get the word out about what's going on and telling you what I'm thinking is one of the ways that you can go and insulate yourself and better protect yourself and your family. That's it. That's it. You got to do your own damn research, pick up your own pants and, and figure it out for yourself. Okay. Got it. <laughs> All right. That's it. Rant over. Uh, but go ahead and check out that rant video again, link in the description of this live stream. And again, if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Appreciate that. Tick the like, 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 smash it up if you haven't already done so. I say I got a couple of people on Facebook right now. Uh, if you're on Facebook, please hit that thumbs up. I appreciate that. And <clears throat> share. I'm looking not only to get my views up uh, so I can monetize the channel, but I think this information needs to get out there. It just does. And uh, again, people are busy. The more they they get this information, I mean, they go to the store, they realize it. They're going to the gas pump. They realize it. They're doing all this stuff. They realize just living is getting more expensive. doesn't matter what country you're in at this point. Uh, but we need to get that information out there. Um, and you can help to get that done. Thank you, Automatic Beats. I, I appreciate that. Appreciate that. Um, so 
what's going on for the week? Let's let's break it down for you. Uh, tomorrow, Matrix Money Podcast, 10 a.m. Eastern on the Matrix Money Podcast channel. Myself, Jar, and FF are going to be probably talking about meme coins. So there'll be some fun going on there. And uh, as far as I know, hey, Jar, if you're still in the live chat here, are we doing that giveaway tomorrow? Uh, put it in the live chat if you're still here. Uh, as far as I know, we're doing that giveaway tomorrow. Um, even though, like I said, I haven't seen Jar's uh, uh, overview video of the wallet yet. Uh, but I'm hoping uh, that we'll still be doing that giveaway. Hopefully, Jar is still listening in and he can let us know for sure. Um, Thank you, uh, 100 Air. Appreciate that. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, we're not gonna we're gonna do it next week. Okay, you heard it here, folks. Uh, so that giveaway isn't gonna be tomorrow. It's gonna be next week. Um, I I get it, Jar, and you got to do the video. I get it. I understand completely, and you want to promote it. Yep, sure. I understand. Understand. Um, all right. So tomorrow, uh, Matrix Money Podcast, 10 a.m. Eastern Time on that channel and then we'll rebroadcast onto our channels after that is over uh wednesday i will be here 10 a.m on this channel who knows what the hell i'm gonna be talking about um i don't know we'll see uh thursday if all goes well i'll be dropping a video about uh point the point pay cryptocurrency exchange uh won't necessarily be a very positive video so stay tuned for that. Hopefully I'll get the editing done on that before Thursday. And then Friday, as always, 7 p.m. Eastern time, Crypto on the Rocks. Come on, vote for what we're going to dollar cost average into and join me with the drink and whatever else is going on. I'm looking into doing a couple of other things uh, potentially, and I'll, I'll let you know as, as that comes out. Um, including changing, uh, doing live streams in the evening that I'll be more uh, pre-recorded uh, kind of thing, half hour, quick hits. I'm using a new news aggregator for cryptocurrency news and information. So I, I might try and do some kind of like news hits uh, in a live stream and I'll just actually sit in the chat and type and then uh, let the video go kind of like a 30 minute hit kind of thing. We'll see how that goes. I'm, I'm still working out the details with that. And I'm thinking um, after my conversation with uh, Crypto Betel the other day, uh, after the last Crypto on the Rocks, um, he gave some good suggestions about what I might do with uh, a kind of uh, after the after the rocks, under the rocks. I don't know. Uh, I'm still I'm still working that out where it's just, uh, you know, uh, enter at your own risk. It'll be behind a paywall kind of thing. Uh, that way, you know what? Uh, it is what it is. I'll say what I want. And uh, not that I don't already say what I want, but it'll be even. Yeah. <laughs> even worse. I like the stream where you invited a listener to the stream with you because you were saying, yeah, yeah, that was, uh, that's Crypto on the Rocks, 100 Air. Uh, you're always welcome to join that 7 p.m. every Friday. Uh, anybody can come on. And yes, uh, I was so sick on that stream. I know the one you're talking about. It was, uh, wow. I, I hadn't been that sick in a while. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> I appreciate you bringing that up. But uh, every Friday, 7 p.m. Uh, last week, uh, Betel was there. The week before that, uh, I don't remember if there was anybody the week before that, but the week prior to that, so like two weeks ago, I had like four people on. It was great. It was just conversation going back and forth. It was awesome. Uh, so, uh, yeah, hopefully we can uh, do something along that line. 100 Air, you are invited always. Uh, so, all right, that's going to do it. I'm going to wrap it up. I will see you tomorrow, 10 a.m., Matrix Money podcast channel. I hope you guys have a great start to your week, and I will talk to you throughout the week. Have a great day. Thank you, everybody, for being here. I appreciate it.